I'm uh, Agustin Delicado Zomeño. I'm the senior track design and overlay manager at Formula 8. So I studied uh, civil engineering in Valencia, in my hometown, and uh, I decided to move to London. And then I found the opportunity of Formula E. I saw uh, this new and innovative championship, and I've been a fan of motorsport all my, all my life. So I saw this opportunity on working on how the tracks are designed and how the events are designed. What we will be looking into for a Formula E race track would be a 2.5 kilometers track. Uh, we would be looking to a minimum width of 10, ideally 12. But when you, the closer you get to the city center, the narrower it gets sometimes. So the design is a challenge itself because of the city itself, because of the infrastructure you have, because some of the streets cannot be wider than they are at the moment. But once the design is established, a bigger challenge is building it, especially when you go to the center of the city where potentially you wouldn't be able to close the road early. We normally have two weeks to build it, one week to, to uh, dismantle it. So if you want to split those two weeks, the first one would be uh, walls, fences and some tech pros, some of the absorbing barriers. And then the second week, which is also the race week, is when we would do all the tech infrastructure, branding, TV broadcast installation, uh, etc. Depending on the city, and the working hours as well. Sometimes like in Paris, we need to do it during the day, blocking only one lane of traffic. Sometimes like in Rome, uh, the building happens during the night. So that way they allow us to close a road and then the morning after, that road gets reopened to traffic. That would be the, during the two weeks until Thursday night, the day before the shakedown, when we would wish <laughs> to have the full road closure and then finish everything from some of the blocks until the last uh, bit of cable that we have to do. It's, uh, it's a very good feeling, like uh, there is also sometimes very challenging job, so it's very good to see. On race day, I follow out the race because obviously the job doesn't finish there. There is uh, the track build team is in a standby in case of, of accident and we need to follow up together with the FIA. I like to stay 100% uh, aware of, of what's going on and also because of this changing environment we have, we can keep on improving for the following year.